So this video <coughs> is a continuation of the, um, the ring homomorphisms and now we are going to talk about properties of ring homomorphisms. Okay, properties of ring homomorphisms. So uh, in, the, in the explanation of these properties I'm going to use phi phi is going to be a homo so phi is going to be a homomorphism from a ring r to a ring s a will be a subring of r and b will be a an ideal okay of s okay so we have a ring here and a subring here okay phi will be an homomorphism uh, into so we have a ring S here okay so this will be a ring S and this will be B but B is an ideal okay so it absorbs products okay and we will have phi a homomorphism from this ring from ring R to ring S. Wait a sec, I should... Uh, this is not S. I made a mistake here, right? So, phi is the homomorphism, that is okay. From a ring R, this is a ring R, this is a ring R to a ring S, and A is a subring of this ring and B is a subring, a special subring, an ideal, more than a subring, an ideal of S. Okay, I'm going to use this this notation. Okay. Very first property. Uh, let uh, for any R uh, in 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 the ring and for any positive integer we have phi of n r so r is an element here in the ring okay will be phi of n r will be equal to n phi of r and phi of r to the power of n will be equal to phi of r to the power of n okay you can draw some a, a scheme and, and, and check this and then you can prove this okay second property if I take a and I phi of a and I do phi of a so I take through phi the entire a phi of a will be the set phi of a such that a is in a and this is a subring of S. So a homomorphism of a subring is a subring. Third property if A, this A here, is an ideal and phi a subjective homomorphism or a onto uh, homomorphism, ring homomorphism it implies that phi of a phi of the ideal so when we take the ideal phi of a this one will be an ideal too okay fourth property the inverse image uh, let me remind you this was how was it r here and s a and B and the mapping is phi so the inverse image of B the inverse image the inverse image of B will be R in the ring R such that phi of R is in B okay so the inverse image of b will be an element r here 
such that V of R is here. Okay, and this is um, an ideal of the ring R. Do not forget that B is an ideal. Okay, we said R is a ring, A is a subring, S is a ring, and B is an ideal. So the inverse image of an ideal is an ideal too. Five, if the ring, if this ring is commutative, um, phi of R will be commutative too. Okay, if, you, if we have a homomorphism, so it will preserve commutativity. Okay, if the ring R has a unity 1, a multiplicative identity, um, and the ring S is not the element 0 only, and if phi is subjective or onto, then phi of 1 is the unity of S. Check very carefully these conditions here, okay? Because this is this is very important. Seven, phi is uh, an isomorphism if and only if phi is an isomorphism if and only if phi is onto there is a subjective homomorphism and the kernel of phi is zero meaning that phi will be an isomorphism so phi will be an isomorphism if phi is a surjective homomorphism or a onto homomorphism and the only element here that is zero here is zero okay if it only takes zero to zero okay um, then we say that phi is an isomorphism okay last but not least if phi is an isomorphism then the inverse image is an isomorphism from the ring s to the ring R. Okay? If phi is an isomorphism, uh, a ring isomorphism, then the, um, the inverse mapping will be also an isomorphism from R, S to R, which is obvious, of course. I'm not going to prove any of this. If any of my viewers want any proof from this properties uh, so here you are yeah here you have the properties of ring homomorphisms okay please recheck all these uh, properties and if you need any proof just let me know